This presentation is intended to illustrate a critical valve isolation procedure developed for emergency sealing of damaged valves. It does not represent the actual procedure or steps required to complete the process, as each situation will vary. Always consult with a seal weld representative before attempting this procedure on your own. In this scenario, we illustrate how a severely damaged ball valve that still operates but will not seal can be sealed off 100% on the upstream side so a new ball valve can be safely installed on the downstream side. To begin, fabricated access fittings are welded onto the pipeline close to the damaged valve on the upstream side. There are several different methods and styles available. In this case, simple weld alight connections are used. A hot tapping tool is used to drill through the pipe to create access into the pipeline. A 2 inch hot tap should be sufficient. Once completed, verify the damaged valve is in the fully closed position. The pipeline is then blown down and pumped into an adjacent line or flared. The objective is to draw a bi-directional pig closer to the closed valve. Draw the pig as close as possible to minimize the quantity of chameleon sealant required. Inject Sealwell's new Grizzly grade chameleon sealant until the calculated volume required to fill is achieved. Open the body vent drain valve to verify a 100% seal has been acquired. Leave the body vent drain valve open. An additional weld alight connection is welded on and hot tapped downstream of the damaged valve. An air mover is then attached to evacuate all of the gas and vapor from the downstream side of the valve before cutting into the pipeline as per API 2015. Once the temporary seal has been verified, the downstream section must be completely depressurized before cutting into the pipe. Attach the new valve, spool piece or pig trap, leaving the damaged valve in place. Once the work is completed, you may begin the sealant flushing operation. The best results are achieved by using a mixture of Sealweld Odyssey solvent and diesel fuel. The flushed sealant and solvent material is drained into a recovery vessel for safe disposal. Repeat the flushing operation several times until the recovered sealant and solvent mixture appears clean. A cleaning pig is then run through the pipeline to remove all residue, cuttings and welding slag. The job is now complete. This emergency sealing procedure held bubble tight for over 16 months while the work downstream was being performed. This is, without question, the worst case of valve leakage we have ever seen in our 44 years of sealing valves. This entire procedure was completed at a fraction of the cost of a conventional hot tap and stopple procedure. For more information, visit sealwell.com.